Joining us right now is Early Show contributor and registered dietitian Carrie Glassman. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. So what do you think of this? Do you think that by adding nutrients, Kellogg's has made these cereals that have a lot of sugar healthier? Absolutely not. Fortifying healthy foods is important and actually is a way that many people in this country meet their nutrient needs. Fortifying a junk food, though, absolutely does not make it a health food. The second ingredient in Cocoa Krispies, which is the one I have the real problem with, is sugar. It also has high fructose corn syrup, another refined sugar. It also has partially hydrogenated oils, otherwise known as trans fats. Overdosing in sugar actually weakens our immune system. So although antioxidants are very important to boost our immune system, slapping it on a sugar cereal is not, we can't call it, we can't slap immunity across it. Mm. It's very misleading to parents out there, especially with what's going on in the world right now. All right, we have a few seconds to talk about foods that actually do boost your immunity or your body's ability to fight uh, illnesses. Mm -hmm. Give me like the highlights of all these that we have. Vitamin here. C helps increase white blood cells which fight infection. Vitamin E, nuts, seeds, wheat germ help fight germs. Salmon, fatty fish, omega-3s are high anti-inflammatories. They may protect our lungs from colds and respiratory infections. Garlic has a compound called allicin, which helps fight infection as well. Zinc, found in beef, poultry, and beans, mm -hmm. actually helps the development of those white blood cells. And vitamin A helps protect our skin, our first line of defense. All right, Carrie Glassman, thank you so much. You're we welcome. have to go through those so quickly, so we're going to put them on the web, earlyshow.cbsnews.com, so you can check them out.